This is not the Tarkus rivals. This is an independent colony. They are hostile to all major powers. I am going to set immediately to peaceful settings and we're going to back off. And we have to last three minutes before, actually we have to last basically a minute and a half before we can node jump out. And since we stay crouching in the nodes, we should be fine. The thing is the planetary missile defense system is going to start hitting us. And we're going to have to engage that. But these ships aren't equipped for point defense. Now they can use their lasers to try and fight it off, but... It's still going to be quite ugly. Yeah, I'm going to face them around so that they can bring their hammerheads to bear. And we try to wait them out. I've said on my willingness to stop combat. It's obvious I'm not coming to attack them, but their missiles are coming in. This is where it gets ugly. We're not even trying to shoot. Oh god. One destroyer down. All those missiles have lost lock. But then they reacquire on us. Ah, uh, they took out her tanker section. If a ship loses two out of three sections, they're dead. Yeah, she's not going to survive the retreat. All ships, retreat. God damn. Our exploration party was wiped out. And we move directly on to the second battle. Another asteroid monitor fight. I hope this time the asteroid monitor is reasonable too. We're running. Aye, sir. To new We're running immediately, as quickly as possible. In the interface of Sins of a... I almost said... I have no clue how many times I'm going to call this Sins of a Solar Empire, but it's going to be a ton. You're always focusing on something, which is the... Oh god, they've chosen to attack. Shit. Yeah. They took out that explorer party, too. There's only so many times you get lucky with that sort of thing. So there's half our explorers. Dead as doornails. All through random encounters. We have found a new colony on Proxima. Now colony maintenance is eating up the light blue section of our budget. So about a fourth of our budget is going to stuff that's not research. Even so, we should get it next turn unless we go over budget. And I've got a bad feeling, but I'm hoping it's not. Markob, oh, they've they've got it coming after what happened to our fleet. There's a reason why the unofficial motto of Soul Force is Repensum est canicula. Payback's a bitch. Hi, sir. <laughs> Looks like the Lear tried to send fleets here, but they might have run out of fuel. I'm not sure if they're smart enough to avoid that. It's pos that's possibly what the Hivers did. If they did that, that's very embarrassing. They need to send a couple tankers to make sure the ships actually reach wherever the hell they're going. We're building up a decent fleet here. Let's build like defense platforms up to the maximum, which isn't too hard. They're very cheap to build on industry. And after that, we can build another pair of explorers. And then some Londons. Mass drivers are very good at bombing planets, by the way. Just putting that out there. 
while I look at Markob, a very impudent independent colony. System update. All right. Time for the second human colony. colony this is probably as good as we're getting. Barnard Star is, again, it's not terrible. Let's head to Tiamat. A Bibu is just outside of our colonizable range. Let's go to Lucis. I've already sent the Barnard Star fleet out there. Terrazed has a full complement of defensive platforms. As well as, as a decent fleet. If an alien menace shows up here, it might actually have some problems running us over. Proxima just naturally develops through terraforming infrastructure. You can order plant to overhove it a harvest, which damages natural resources in the long run. Like minus one resource per turn, but it gets you more. It's generally not worth it. Because resources are a little hard to come by unless you're willing to blow your own ships up. Which I, uh, I don't recommend particularly. Anyway, let's split you off into a new exploration group. Send you Ezek Ben. Yeah, Ezek Ben. These destroyers can stay here and uh, guard the colony and we'll move all you guys yes, to Proxima sir. just to station you there are there any other fleets I've parked let's think there was the fleet that arrived at Tezecto Abibu and Barnard Star these are the two explorer groups that haven't died yet and I've made a third. So yeah, that looks about right. Hmm. Maybe I should make more explorers eventually. Two more Gagarins and two more Aegises. Or one more Aegis, as it turns out. Construction order placed, Commander. System update. Alright, the new colony of Tizekto has been founded. It's got a very good climate hazard. Like I said, it's about as good as you could even ask for. And I tend to ask for a lot from my colonies. Another eh world. It's good to know our options though. The Lear are about to arrive there. So? So we'll optimize. Tiamat. Another eh. We're getting a lot of eh, haven't we? Navigation Let's explore Alversy then. Four ships built at Terrazin. Let's send them all to Proxima. Engines to power, aye. More ships cranking out. Always be cranking out ships. And we are officially over budget, so we could get it any time between now and 150%. At least it will speed up our FTL, which is useful as hell. System update. The fact that we haven't encountered any rivals yet at all suggests that there might not be anyone else there. That'd be very fortunate for us, because that's all that territory that's just for me and my allies. This is what we call lucky break. Hiver fleets have arrived. Ezek Ben sucks. So does Zoctus. Pochak doesn't suck. Ooh. I say I'd surely like to grab it. And I have a new Frontiers available. But you know, maybe my allies would want this world. So we're gonna go into diplomacy. 
and compose a message to tell our alliance well we can tell our alliance all kinds of things info I want <laughs> you could ask for people's home planets or allied home planets or enemy planets alright uh... Pochak we find Pochak in the list broadcast to alliance I want Pochak and if either member of our alliance has something to say about that they will tell me and I'll know to back up that will mostly probably be the Hivers. Since the Hivers haven't said anything, I'm going to take it, because usually they react very badly if you try to take something they want. Well, at least they verbally berate you. Since the teams are locked, they can't actually like go to war. They'll say stuff like, no, this world is Terran soil forever! And then they'll make the little angry face emoticon. Not good for diplomatic relations. However, Pochak is such a wonderful world that I'm going to make a grab for it. Move these Kievs to Proxima. Yes, Fleet on heading alpha. And end our turn. System update. Over time and over budget, but at least we find yeah, this tech. Yeah, nice. Director. Our first research project and we go over budget. But we've refined our FTL. And that is for me a good thing. See Fusion will still take 33 turns to complete even putting over three fourths of our budget towards it. And our special project on the minor control at Delphi is going along. Hmm. Do we want the one in Itotex? Nah, it's not our concern. Our allied races are probably working on that. Now the question always becomes what do you want next? Node missile? A smart missile using advanced node drive technology. Strike another star system on their own? I've never seen such a technology. It would be hell to research. It sounds like one of those texts that you can just troll the hell out of people with. Gamma Warhead increases missile damage. Now there is something to be said for that. Maybe we could do shields. Creates a quantum field. Blocks incoming attacks. Hmm, but the question is, would it be effective in combat? Because I could see a lot of potential applications for that, like... Hell, I'd even put that on explorer ships. Yeah, this, I've been given a lot to think about. There's always the steadfast ultraviolet lasers which are an improvement on regular lasers in that they do like twice the damage of regular lasers and they have better accuracy there's also beamers which I'm not sure are better and particle beams for a medium mount they need actually they need large turrets or destroyers built around the spinal mount mission section although I'm not sure how to get the spinal mount mission section and there's always point defense. Point defense ships are really good. You know what? We're gonna start defense on point start research on point defense tracking immediately. Research computers online. Labs fully staffed. Yeah, let's try thirteen turns to get node focusing. Which is still better than initial estimates, I say, but man, we were plugging in our whole budget. Yeah. Alright, let's go to design and see 
Hmm. Now we can get F node pulsed vision, which is an insane range boost. It boosts your range and it increases our node speed to six light years a turn. That is that's significant. Also, the cost goes way up, but it's worth it. Let's see, fission and pulsed fission. F node fission is even better than pulsed fission. Hmm. Is F node fission better than F node pulsed fission, though, or is it? Is it so much better that it's worth... Yeah, it definitely is. I'm an idiot. This is a great day for us. And if you save a new design under the same name... Yes, sir. Then Ship it just says KF Mark II. Lovely little feature. We'll get everything on Pulsed Fission F nodes right away. And you can have as many marks as you want. Especially these ships. Warships and explorers. Colonizers, I think, can stay with regular pulsed vision. Because any place we send them, we'll send tankers and escorts anyway. Tankers will need it, though. Yes, sir. Command Ship ships, definitely. Design entered into naval archives. Torpedo destroyer. Yes, sir. Ship design ready for construction. All right, our fleet is upgraded now. Let's set our build pattern. Um, I'll take a pair of Gagarin Mark Twos. Another Washington, an Aegis, and then keep making Kievs. There we go. Construction well, place, we have commander. certainly achieved a lot of progress in 13 turns, haven't we? As soon as I give up my movement orders, I will combine these fleets just because this is a decent fleet now. As soon as I get my moving orders, I think that'll be it for now. Let's send this ship here. Engaging no drive. Let's send this fleet to Thundara. Fleet moving out. Oolol. Oolol -ol 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 is kind of... It's alright, I guess. Navigation, set course. If it put a bag over its head, I'd do it. Ah, uh, more ships that just... head out to Proxima before anything, really. At least these Engines encounter obstacles aren't in... horror bad places. I guess. Only technologies are now available for research. Ooh, lol. Alright, that's it. Our movement orders have been placed. Our build orders have been placed. I think I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you for watching Sword of the Stars with me, Hunter Black Luna. I'll see you next time.